one June 2009, I died and I was reborn. That's when I was hit by an IED, which changed my life dramatically. It left me with retrograde amnesia for two years and doctors saying that I was never going to do anything. Never tie my shoes, never put my clothes on, never talk right again. I'm a 3.9 student at the University of New Mexico. They teach us how to fight. They teach us how to become a team. They don't teach us how to come home. There was no clapping, there was no signs. I just kind of faded back into civilian life. And when I started to come back to school, I tried coming back traditionally and I was overloaded in class. There was too much stuff going on. Uh, I, was, I didn't know I had ADD. Even though I'd have 15 conversations, I'd never finish one. <laughs> and I was wondering why it was harder to read information. Uh, that turns out I had some dyslexia going on caused by the blast. And then on top of that, auditory processing problems caused by the brain injury. Here at the University of New Mexico, we have Accessibility Resource Center. I'm the director, Joan Green, and our purpose is to provide access for students with disabilities uh, who are attending uh, either in person or online. I learned how to ask for help. I connected with the Accessibility Resource Center upstairs. And they had a lot of tools. And my doctors were like, okay, this is what's going on. And the accommodations really, they set me up for success. Our largest group of students are those students with invisible disabilities. And the area that's grown over the last 10 years in particular are students with psychological disabilities, attention deficit disorder, and then chronic health. The most used accommodation would be some type of accommodation for exams through extended test time, perhaps a different format, such as Braille or um, being able to take it on a computer. It doesn't matter what label they've given you. If you want to succeed, the resources are here. If I can do it, you can do it.